Annyeonghaseyo, yarabun. How are you doing? Hey y'all, I'm Shamra and I'm here with my girl Sabrina and we are How You Reviews, two Americans who are swept up in their Korean wave as it reaches across the globe. We have a love of all Korean music. We We're reacting to GOT7 and this is GOT THE STAGE 2. Uh, I think this might be the second song, so oh, maybe the second this song, maybe? person has posted all two of them. Of them or, maybe? Yeah. Okay, but this is APA, which is sick. Yes, and I was really excited, had a Korean language growth moment because we always try to look up something about the songs if we have mm -hmm. time beforehand. And we, one of the sources that we use often is Songtel because they really speak to the lyrics. And we looked up sick and it didn't come up. And I thought, hmm, let me look it up in Korean. And wrote Appa and found it. Yay! Win for Korean language. Okay. So the song sick, which by the way, this was recommended by several viewers as a way, it's just the vocal line of GOT7. Mm -hmm. So for a way to, for us to really get to know the voices of the four members of the vocal line. So very excited. Um, Super I've excited. been doing my homework and I think I'll be okay. So, but I have not looked at this. So I'm excited to see if it paid off. Okay. So. The, uh, the song explores the pain and heartache of a failed relationship. The lyrics highlight the inability to forget the memories and words shared with the person who has caused the emotional wounds. The chorus expresses the confusion and desperation of the narrator, questioning why their heart hurts so much and why they continue to long for this person despite the pain. Oh, oh, this is oh. going to be a tearjerker, I can tell. Oh my goodness. Okay. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. That's an interesting way. Like, I don't think I would know that that says Appa because they're sharing the vowel. Oh, yeah, that's true. They're both sharing the ah. <laughs> so, especially with the little hat thingy on top. Mm. That would confuse me. We're not criticizing, we're just observing. It's so. Yes, agreed. All right, well, here we go. Yeah. Oh. Obviously, do not pay attention to the lyrics. <laughs> Should we turn them off? Because they're so distracting. Please do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Something of feet. I didn't. I wasn't even looking at it. So, okay. <laughs> Shall we begin again? I was like, what on earth? Okay. 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 Yes, please do. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is rap making by Mark and Jackson oh, Wayne. Is there rap in this? I didn't yeah. think there was. There isn't supposed to be. I think so. I haven't heard the song. That's Jamie. He's the leader, too. Oh, it's pretty. This is a little like more upbeat than I expected uh -huh. it to be, rhythm. 
cool. And there was a little bit of rap in the beginning. The black and white feel just gives it like a classicness to it. Mm. Even though it was upbeat, you could feel like it was emotionally draining. Yeah. Yeah, they did a really good job just conveying the emotion behind the song. And in photography, my personal choice is when I'm showing something that's very emotional, I often put it in black and white because it just, it, like you said, it, something makes it feel a little more classic and mm -hmm. it sort of strips away all the, the distractions and you, you just focus on what is important. And so I liked the choice of it being in black and white and like going with that classic feel as well, they weren't all exactly wearing suits, but what they were wearing, the wardrobe kind of gave the feeling of suits. Mm -hmm. Like they were buttoned down shirts and coats and things like that. Um, and it just made it feel very somber, like not sad, not like blues and, yeah. and like really mournful, but definitely like, like a hurting sort of feel to it in that very emotional sort of way. So really great choices. Um, now I feel like we've, had people recommend got the stage before and we may have even done a performance or two from it was this during COVID? i'm wondering like so was it like a virtual oh they did seem like very yeah. spaced out now that you mention it i don't know but that's because a valid I, point i mean they may not have been spaced out from each other intentionally but like i'm wondering because a lot of the groups did these virtual concerts during COVID, and so i'm wondering since we saw like rap lyrics and stuff by like mark and jackson and everything um you said you heard it in the beginning well the I one on the left out, but the one on the left all um, on the left you yeah you he rapped Did like he? towards okay. the the very beginning it maybe be like his second line even it was very short very quick but it was like a little it was very okay. upbeat very like rapish almost okay so uh, but i'm wondering if like they were like the other members were also present because this was number two so i'm wondering if it was like a set list of different songs that they performed and this was the second and song. then they would the, like the other members right would come right in. okay so maybe the first one was all of them and then this one was just the vocal line maybe the next one's like you know nightmare or something like the rappers or whatever okay. i don't know i'm curious i'm if i had to guess that's what my guess would be so I guess is let us know what this is and if we should do more. Ooh. We are getting more and more attention and, and traction on our GOT7 videos, and Yay, we really we like these Got guys. Seven. So this is one of the only groups, I think, that we're both developing like biases in the rap line and the and vocal, the vocal line. line. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. It's great. It's hard to choose when they're all so talented. Um, but we, we well, and they have, have such you know, diverse vocals with GOT7, and that's one do. of the things that I really appreciate GOT7 about mm -hmm. is because – their diversity within their vocals is just phenomenal. And yet, as I failed to really explain well last time, they their voices together though, blend like they so blend and make a GOT7 sound that's just stunning and makes them stand out from everybody else. But you would think with voices that diverse that one would overpower maybe the others mm -hmm. or something, but, they, but don't. they don't. They do a really good job blending their sounds. So uh, obviously they're skilled at what they do, but it's it, not everybody can pull that off as well. 
especially if your voice is very distinct, then it can often stick out in harmonies. So I didn't notice a lot of harmonies in this song, maybe a couple of times. I heard like two members singing harmony together, but it, this didn't seem like it was a harmonic song. But I think that was purposeful song. because yeah. of just the, right. I agree. The, the solidarity kind of in just the meaning of her. I, I agree because I think you're kind of, you're feeling that pain and you're, that isolation. you're, you're feeling alone and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I do, again, I don't think it was necessarily like melancholy, sad kind of, but like, that hurting inside. And, I could have sworn and I heard Pabo a couple times. Fool. Fool. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Skin is similar though. And that's true. So it could be skin. And, um, and love. That sounds nothing like them. Well, I mean like in terms of <laughs> the words that I'm hearing oh, in the music. Okay. I thought you were trying to say it sounded like, like mm, nope, not at all. <laughs> not the words like for love. Like he was a fool for love and gotcha. like he was hurt okay. and like, that, that confused with what we were reading from the yes. list. So anyway, if you are enjoying all of our Got 7 reactions, make sure that you like and subscribe down below so that you can continue to see our Got 7 reactions as they come out. We are loving looking at these guys. Um, we looked at them before, but now like it's it's getting more attention and we're getting to to really take a dive into them and we're really enjoying it. We are it, a viewer-led so. channel, so the more you recommend and the more you um, interact yeah. with them, the more you, we include them. And we'd love to see more God 7, so true. make sure you let your thoughts be known. And if you are fans of drama, make sure you check out How Your Views, where we tell you which dramas to watch, must watch, or completely skip. And we are quickly approaching the month of October, so if you have any spookiness, make sure you let it known so that we can include it in our spook fest for <laughs> Halloween. Yay! I got Until this. next time. Until <laughs> next time. I am.